The consultation on reviewing health laws forms part of the ongoing review of PNG health-related laws led by the health department. Minister in charge, Dr. Pukatemu, said the department is trying to redefine the roles that DDAs and PHAs have in the health system. Some of the specific laws that I have given instruction for them to look at is how do we align the organic law and provincial governments and local level government, which is the service delivery legal framework around the country. And that particular law has a specific section on health, section 42N. Section 42N uh, talks about rural health. So, so we develop a health, health, health sector administration law, National Health Administration Act. The government provides health functional grants to PHAs, and on top of that, the provincial governments also receive health grants under provincial budgets. Dr. Pukatemu said these grants will be utilized well only when proper laws are in place to define the functions and responsibilities of each body. We are trying to def redefine who is going to be responsible for what health program. For example, currently, health training, health medical supply procurement, those remain health national functions. Provincial hospitals and rural health, eight posts right up to the district hospitals, are under the provincial health authorities. Through the amendment, PHA and DDAs will be able to work together to see a large coverage of health service delivery. Uh, Solomon Islands are here as well. So they are doing the health reforms as well. We've got hospital CEOs, we've got district CEOs, we've got <coughs> PHA chairmen, so we've got foundation like All Saints uh, Foundation. They are all here to contribute because they have the experience of delivering under the current legislative framework. And my view is the current legislative framework is making service delivery breaking up from national right to the village level. And the minister said the bottom line of amending health laws in the country is to make sure the delivery of health services reach everyone, especially those at the villages who make up bulk of the country's population. Charlene Airy, National MTV News.